。生身だ物。生身だ物。生身だ物。生身だ物。生身だ物。生身だ物。生身だ物。合唱。ナモミダブツ、ナモミダブツ、ナモミダブツ、ナマンダブツ、ナマンダブツ、ナマンダブツ、ナマンダブツ、ナマンダブツ。Hello and welcome to the Tri State Denver Buddhist Temple's YouTube service. This is the service for December 26, 2021. Thank you so much for gathering and joining us to hear, share, and chant the Buddha Dharma. So happy to see you here once again. Service order for this Shotsuki service for the month of December is Junirai. You can find Junirai on page 79 in the Blue Denver Service Book. Following Junirai, We're going to have a reading of the December Shotsky names. After the December Shotsky names, we'll be reading the Jodo Shinshu Creed. You can find a copy of the Jodo Shinshu Creed in the description below this video. We'll then have a Dharma talk where we're going to learn about how material science, water, and Nagarjuna's teachings from the Junidai all go together. So I hope you stick around and hear that. And if you don't have a copy of the Blue Denver Service Book, well, don't you worry, because if you look in the description down below, you'll find a hyperlink to a Google Drive where you can download your own PDF copy of the Blue Denver Service Book. On behalf of everyone here at the Tri State Denver Buddhist Temple, we want to wish you a happy New Year's. Thank you so much for sticking around once again through all of 2021. This is, of course, the last service for 2021, but we'll be back starting next Sunday, January 2nd, 2022. We hope that you're able to come and join us then. And please do everything you can to stay safe out there. Keep your masks on.、Uh, be careful of Omicron because it does seem to be pretty real right now. So, the more you can do to keep yourself safe means the more you can do to help other people stay safe. And once again, on the behalf of all the staff here at Tri State Denver Buddhist Temple, we are so happy to have spent this year with you. And we can't wait to spend some more time with you again here soon. Until then, keep your hands in Gasho and say, Namo m i d a b u t s えしてねんしょくぎょうあみらせんろぞくそんざいへみめうはんらこくむよぶししゅいねうこんじきしんろにょせんのシャーマータギョンヨゾブロモクジョニャクショリンゲコンガチョダイミラソンメンゼンヘンジョニョマンガイコユイニョセンニチガン少女天空くしら、子が頂戴みだそん、勘の頂戴勘中獣、中獣めうそほしょごん、のぶくげどまけまんこがちょうだいみらそんむみむここしょじょしゅうておくけうけんよこくしょさりやくとくじざいこがちょうだいみだ
son ji po myo mon bo sa shu mu yo sho ma jo san dai i sho shu jo gan ri ki ju ko ga cho dai mi da son kon tai ho ken chi so ke zeng o sho jo me dai za o hi za jo nyo sen no ko ga cho dai mi da son ji po sho dai sho bu shi ken gen ji zu shi an rak sen go sho gen jo ku yo ko ga cho dai mi da son sho hu mu jo mu ga to ya ku yo su ga den yo ro i shu se po mu myo ji ko ga cho dai mi da son hi son bu se mu wa ku myo ya ku myo nyo ni na ku do fu shu ni shi shi kyo hi son ko ga chi dai mi da son hi son mu yo ho ben kyo mu sho shu wa ku chi shi ki o jo fu dai shi bo dai ko ga cho dai mi da son ga sen bi son ku do ku ji shu zen mu hen yo kai su i sho hong ga ku zen go sho jo
on rock This is the December 2021 Shotsky service. This is when we remember those who've been born into the Pure Land in the month of December. Please join me in Gasho as I read the names of TSTB team members who have passed in the month of December and keep them in your mind and remember the causes and conditions of all those who've gone before us. If you have a family member or friend on this list, please feel free to Oshoko at your home Obutsudan. And if you have someone who's passed in December and yet is not on this list, keep them in your mind and offer Oshoko in their behalf as well. Remember, all these are those who have gone before us and thusly are our great teachers. Amy Noriyuki, Sakuju Sato, Arthur Akira Oka, Isao John Takata, Hatsumi Takata, Kohana Yamashita, Jim Ward, Gladys Taniwaki, Kiwa Tawada, Sally Tomiko Tawada, Junji Arikawa, Oscar Mizuno, Leonard Mizuno, Herman Masanobu Yoshida, Nancy Akiko Matsuda, Kyo Sasuke Furika Furikami, Shin Hiroka, Matoma Kinoshita. If you have any other names, please keep them in your mind in Afro Shoko. And also join me in Gasho as we keep these people in mind and say, Namo Amida Boots, Namo Amida Boots, Namo Amida Boots. Namandabits, 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 Namandabits. Please join me in Gusho as we recite the Jodo Shinshu Creed. I put my trust in the vow of Amida Buddha, reciting Namo Amida Butsu, let us live life to the utmost with strength and joy. I look to the light of Amida Buddha, Constantly reflecting upon myself, let us strive to live a life of gratitude. I shall follow the teachings of Amida Buddha. Awakening to the right path, let us share the true Dharma with others. I rejoice in the compassion of Amida Buddha. Mutually respecting and aiding each other, let us endeavor to work for the good of all. Namo Amida Buts. Namo Amida Buts. Namo Amida Buts. Namandabits, 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 Namandabits. Hi, and welcome once again to the Tri State Denver Buddhist Temple's YouTube service and the Dharma Talk for this service, December 26, 2021. This is our last service of the year, and uh, I'm really excited. Thank you, everyone, for coming and joining us throughout the year, hearing different Dharma talks and sharing the Buddha Dharma with us. And today, for this last Dharma talk, this is also coincidentally the first Dharma talk of the winter season, so I finally don't have to put fall service up there anymore. It's now winter, even though I always have a hard time with that because I always think of winter as, like, I don't know, anytime after Halloween, maybe? But uh, winter is now, so... Uh, the sun is going to start being in the sky longer. How exciting is that? Because I know I could always use a little more sunshine in my day. So today, uh, we're going to be reading from 
Pure Land Writings, The Indian Masters, Volume 1. This is from the Shin Buddhism Translation Series. Uh, if you're ever interested in any of these books I read from, please leave a comment in this section down below. Um, they're almost all available commercially or in your local temple, including Tri-State Denver Buddhist Temple's bookstores. Uh, this is going to be one that came out, I don't know, about six, seven years ago. And we're going to be reading from Nargarjuna's writings, one of the Pure Land Masters. And this is from the Junirai, the 12 praises of Amida Buddha. And that's the reason we chanted Junirai early in their service today. So please join me in Gashol and hear the writings of Nargarjuna. All things are impermanent and non-substantial. Like the moon in the water, a lightning flash or the dew. For all beings, the Buddha expounds the Dharma that cannot be expressed in words. Therefore, I pay homage to Amida Buddha, the most honored one. Namo Amida Buts, 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 Namo Amida Buts. Oh, I so love all of the verses from the Junirai. And Nargarjuna's writings are all just absolutely great. I absolutely love them. Um, so this I wanted to talk about because it's New Year's and it's the end of the year and things are changing around us and we're aware of change and things being different. The year's changing. Uh, the days are getting longer and shorter. And it often makes us question, like, what is the inherent nature of things? And this is one of the things I love about Nagarjuna's writings. All things are impermanent and non-substantial. Like the moon in the water, a lightning flash, or the dew, for all beings, the Buddha expounds the Dharma that cannot be expressed in words. Therefore, I pay homage to Amida Buddha, the most honored one. And so this made me think about how we perceive the world and how we understand different things. And so I'm going to go through a couple assumptions here. Water is wet. Uh, air is a gas. Oxygen is a gas. Um, rock is solid. And um, wood is solid. Um, I don't know, maybe some others. Mercury is a liquid. Uh, nitrogen is a liquid. Nitrogen is a gas. Nitrogen is a solid. And so I'm saying a lot of just general things here. But one of the interesting things about states of matter is that they are variable based upon conditions and causes. And so we often think of ourselves as a fixed thing. And we look at the world around us and we understand it in the way that it is in this moment. And so while things change around us, we have to be cognizant of the changes and the differences and everything else that happens. And so we think of something like water. Water is wet. Water is liquid. Water is, in fact, not inherently liquid. Water can be every phase of matter. In fact, all things can be all phases of matter. Nothing is inherently a solid, a gas, or a liquid, or plasma for that matter, but rather all things can be any of those things. It is only through our judgment and our vision that we see them in one way or another because that is the position we're coming from. It is our substantiation of something that is impermanent. And so for us, as for human beings, we always want to think of things as permanent, and we want to assign a value or a use or anything else to something. So I often give this example of a chair is a chair when I sit in it. It is a stool when I step on it. It is a shelf when I put books on it. And it is a ladder when I change a light bulb with it. Um, is it still a chair? Is it inherently a chair? or is inherently a shelf, or is inherently a ladder. And you can say, well, it was intended to be made as a chair. Okay, 
So prior to the wood being put together, the metal being put together, was it a chair then or was it wood or metal? And does it only become a chair when you build it? Often sculptors talk about when they sculpt something, the sculpture was already in there. So is the sculpture, like why bother doing it? It's inherently in there. Or is it only a sculpture when you remove the rock from it? And then is it even a sculpture or is it just a bunch of rock that we assign value to based on our causes and conditions? And so those causes and conditions are the places we are coming from. So I wanted to talk about changes the state of matter and how that is showing our limited view of how things are. So over here, I've got a graph up here and this graph's gonna be up here for a second. This graph is what's known as a phase chart, a phase graph of water. And you can see there's a ton of lines on there and there's a bunch of stuff about atom sorting and crystalline structure and stuff that I'm not gonna go over. However, if you have any interest in this whatsoever, material science is so cool, so epic. I had to take a class on it in university at the School of Mines and it was one of my favorite classes learning about like how different crystals based on different pressures and temperatures, like literally how solids resort themselves and like why um, blacksmiths do the things that they do, like why you would heat metal up and quench it in a very certain way to get certain crystal structures. And that is so cool. And I definitely suggest you check it out. But today we're gonna go on something a little bit easier. And we're gonna look at, um, although plasma is definitely a state of matter, I'm not gonna address it too much today, but we're gonna look at solid gas and liquid. Solid gas and liquid. So. If you look over here, we think of water generally as, I mean, for us, the water is actually pretty easy to think of as both a gas, a solid, and a liquid. Because we boil water and we see water vapor come up. That is the gaseous form of water. Although it's also in here referred to as a vapor form. Uh, we, freeze wa we freeze water, it becomes ice. And that is, you know, ice generally. And then we have water in the liquid form that we take a shower with, and that is water. Um, However, when we talk about water, we say water boils at 100 degrees centigrade or it freezes at zero degrees. However, that's not always true. So if you look at this chart, you'll see temperature and pressure on there. And as it turns out, as you vary pressure, the temperature at which things happen changes. In fact, there's a thing called a critical point. Um, and if you look at that, it's at 373 degrees centigrade at 217 atmospheres of pressure. 217 atmospheres. So right now we're at one atmosphere. This is 217 times here. So that's an amazing amount of pressure. That is so much pressure that it would crush you like that. This is bottom of the ocean pressure, but more. And this is, you get something called hydrates and stuff like that in there. But this is where water can exist as both a vapor and a solid at the exact same time. So it's zero degrees centigrade, or I'm sorry, 373 degrees centigrade and 217 atmospheres. Water coincides as both a vapor and a solid. And so we're bypassing the liquid phase altogether. Vapor, solid, epic. If you go down to zero degrees centigrade at 611 pascals. So pascals is a pretty universal form of pressure measurement. Um, and to give you an idea, one atmosphere is 101,325 pascals. So just call it 100,000 pascals as one atmosphere. So basically that's what we're walking around in right now, about 100,000 pascals. So if you take it to a near vacuum, so 611 pascals, we're talking very little pressure here and you have water at zero degrees centigrade, it reaches what's called a triple point. And so water will actually exist in as a solid, gas, and liquid all at the same time. And so if you have a bowl of water in there, it will be all three things. It'll be a gas, it'll be a solid, and it'll be a liquid. And that is because the scale in which we're working, this pressure scale on the bottom changes. Pressure changes. And so our view of what something is changes. And so for water, the thing being acted upon, it is no more or less water based upon its pressure it's under. It's just changing phase in a different way. But that is the view that we see it from. That is where we approach it from. 
And so there's a lot of other interesting things too. And I definitely say like, if you get interested in material sciences, there's things called boys einstein condensates where um, you get things like superfluid helium-4 and you get uh, quasi-particles and like these states of matter that are real and not real. Um, super fascinating. I did some reading when I was getting ready for this Dharma talk where you're looking at these different states of matter and this different way that like things interact with each other. And I totally think you should check it out. Look at the superfluid helium four equations and the experiments done in the 70s and 80s and 90s. Material science, this is this graph over here. This is how material science is done. This is how we understand the world better. But this goes back to Nagarjuna. Ancient, absolutely ancient, 2,000 years ago. All things are impermanent and non-substantial. All things do not have inherent existence or meaning. All things are not necessarily what they look like. Water is not necessarily a liquid unless it's in a position to be a liquid. Otherwise, the gas are solid. Like the moon in the water, a lightning flash or the dew, for all beings, the Buddha expounds the Dharma that cannot be expressed in words cannot be expressed in words. And so, as we step away from this chart, we start thinking, the Buddha is expounding the teachings that is beyond our comprehension, cannot be expressed in words. When we look at water, it's hard for us to see and comprehend all the states of matter that it can be in at one point, because we can only see from our causes and conditions. And that's why the Buddha, that's why the Buddha has namo amida butsu, namo amida butsu. It expounds that one phrase, that one entrustment, expounds far beyond our understanding or our capabilities of the everyday world. It is like that critical triple point, all states of matter happening at one moment. It is the right vacuum at the right pressure at the right temperature. It is the right everything that we can't create ourselves. It is the Dharma that cannot be spoken because we don't have the language to create it. We don't have the language to understand it. We are foolish, limited beings wandering around with the poisons touching us, our greed, anger, and ignorance. So when we look to a graph or we look to information, we say, oh, this is very hard. This is very difficult. But for the Buddha, it's already solved. We don't have to solve these equations. All we have to say is, Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Because for us, it's hard to grasp inherent nature and lack of inherent nature and change and everything else. But the one thing that is unchangeable because it works in all circumstances is Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. And so as we work and try to change and understand the world, the more we realize we only understand it from certain points of view. The more that we understand that we can't quantify every single answer. And that's awesome, because it means there's more science to do. And it also means that we are embraced by the vow. Namo Amida Butsu. There's another, the next couple words is in the Junirai. In the Buddha land, there is not even a word for evil, nor are there any women or fear of evil courses, all being sincerely revere him from the bottom of their hearts. Therefore, I pay homage to Amida Buddha, the most honored one. First off, I'll take care of the thing that everyone just heard. There, nor are there any women. That is a product of Nagarjuna writing in India at a time when being a woman really sucked. And basically, it means there's no dis discrimination between men and women. Thusly, this is the place of non-discrimination. Thusly, this is a place where... Uh, all equality, all is equal. There's no thing, no person is more equal than the other. Thusly, everyone's the same. All right, fix that problem. There's no world for, word for evil, nor are there any women or feel, fear of evil courses. All beings sincerely revere him from the bottom of their hearts. Therefore, I pay homage to Amida Buddha, the most honored one. I wanted to read that to you because I want you all to go into the New Year's thinking that. Pay homage to Amida Buddha from the bottom of your heart. Feel the love and the joy that the Nembutsu brings you. Feel the wonder that when you learn something new 
and have that be the same feeling you have when you say, Namo Amida Butsu. Be happy and be joyful. This is not a teaching of sadness. This is a teaching of joy. You are liberated. You are safe. And you are embraced at all times by Amida Buddha. You can say the Nambutsu no matter where you are and know that you always have a friend walking with you. Namo Amida Butsu. No matter what state of matter you're in, <laughs> whether you're in a high pressure or low pressure state of matter, whether it's hot or cool out, Namo Amida Butsu. Because this is the Dharma that can't even be described by a graph. This is the Dharma that can't be described by any human cognition. This is the Dharma that is all-encompassing and all-compassionate. So have a great 2022. Have a great year coming off. I'll hit you guys up uh, in December or January 2nd. We're going to have another service right after New Year's. But have a great 2022. End out 2021 in the best way you can. I know it's been a tough year. And for me and everyone else here at Tri-State Denver Buddhist Temple, thank you so much for being with us throughout the year. I know it's been rough. I know it's been hard. But know that you have a friend here at the temple. And we really care about you guys. And I really care about you all. And if you ever have any issues or problems, reach out at any time. We're here for you. Um, and we're going to get through the rest of COVID together. And everything's going to be great. And we're going to be embraced at all times by the Nembutsu. Naman Dabits, Naman Dabits, Naman Dabits. So please join me in Gasho as I finish out this Dharma talk and finish out 2021 the way I started it with all of you. Naman Dabits. Thank you so much. And join me in Gasho as we read from the Junirai, the writings of Nagarjuna. All things are impermanent and non substantial. Like the moon in the water, a lightning flash, or the dew, for all beings, the Buddha expounds the Dharma that cannot be expressed in words. Therefore, I pay homage to Amida Buddha, the most honored one. Namo Amida Boots. Namo Amida Boots. Namo Amida Boots. Namanda Boots. Namanda Boots. Namanda Boots. Namanda Boots. Namanda Boots. Namanda Boots.